Before watching this video, please make sure to check out the description since it will supplement this video with the relevant information needed. Hello and welcome, my name is Sigma and today I will be showing you how to netplay at Mega Man Star Force 3 on both your console and your PC. Now despite the fact that Nintendo has shut down their official WFC servers back in 2014, there is still a way to netplay your favourite DS games and that is done by connecting to what is known as an Alt WFC server, which I shall show you how to do today. One last important thing to note before we decide to go ahead with the tutorial is that you want to do this with the Japanese version of the game. The reason as to why that is will be explained in the FAQ section, which will be at the end of this video. So first off, I will cover the PC part of the tutorial since there's some setup to get the emulator running which we will use to connect to Alt WFC. If you're on console, you can skip to this timestamp to ignore all of this. Hello and welcome to the PC section of the tutorial. Before we get started, we need to get a few things first. One of the first things being the Mega Man Star Force 3 Netplay package and also WinPC Cap. I have both of those linked in the description. For WinPC Cap, make sure you get the version which corresponds to your operating system, which is either Windows 7 or Windows 10. Alongside those two files, you will also need the BIOS files so that the emulator can run properly. However, due to legal reasons, I cannot link you those files. You will have to use the internet to find them, or dump them for your own console. You also need the ROM of the game, which I also cannot link to you legally. You will have to use the internet to find it, or dump it from your own console. Now that we have everything, we can proceed on to the next step. Okay, now that you have everything ready, the first thing you want to do before setting up your emulator is install WinPC Cap. Now, I've already installed it, so I'll go through the installation process again, but make sure you install this because if you don't, your emulator simply won't connect to the internet. Once you have WinPC Cap installed, head over to the Netplay package file and extract it. Once it's extracted, go over to it, make sure the root folder looks like this to avoid any issues, then go back and copy over the BIOS files wherever you got them from. and put them into the root of the emulator. And once that is done, you want to rename BIOS NDS7.ROM and BIOS NDS9.ROM to BIOS7.bin. Ignore this error prompt. And BIOS9.bin. Ignore it again. And once that is done, you are pretty much set with your emulator. All we need to do now is load up the game and set up the netplay configuration. Now, before we go ahead and boot up the game, there are a few important things to remember and note. The thing to remember is that one, you have to make sure that the save file for the game has to be in the exact same folder as the ROM itself and it has to have the exact same name minus the extension. Make sure that the extension for the save file is of course .sav. Now that we have the emulator all set up, we can go ahead and launch it. We do this by clicking on melonds.exe. Okay, so now that we have properly configured our emulator, it's time to launch the game and apply the network configuration settings which will allow us to connect the Alt WFC server to a battle other people on it. So first up, to launch the game, go to File, Open ROM, and then load up the ROM of your game from wherever you saved it. Launch the game. Look our data. Now, if you're on console as well, please pay attention to this segment of the video since it applies to you. So, to go to the network menu, first off, we want to click the bottom part of the touchscreen, 
the bottom right specifically, and you will get this menu opened up. You want to choose the network tab, choose the left option twice, it will save your game for you. And now you should be at this part, choose the Wi-Fi option here, choose it again here, choose the left option twice. Now, when you come to this menu, you want to choose the orange tab first. And if this option here in the middle is grayed out, then you can skip this step. But if not, you want to click on it and press A twice. It will clear your WFC profile, which is necessary for the next part of this video. So now, your console should have been rebooted or turned off, and your emulator should have returned to the default state. So now, we need to launch the game again, and then we shall start applying the necessary settings. So, let's go again, open up our ROM. Let's pull up our data. Let's go to the network menu again. Choose the bottom option, choose it again. Now this time you want to choose the blue tab, and then you will have three network setups. Choose whichever, I will choose the first one, so click on the one which you want. And then you will have this big blue button here, you want to click on it, and it will basically search for an access point. If you're on PC, it will connect you to what is known as a Melon AP which is their emulated access point, and if you're on console, just connect to the usual access point, which you use for online play. So, let's search for the access point. Now, you want to click on no NAP. And if you're on PC, you will get the error code 2100 or 2110, which is absolutely fine. You want that, because that will mean that everything will work out once the settings have been applied. If you're on console, it should connect successfully. But once it connects successfully, you should be back at the part where you see the free network setups, which I will show you, which should be right now. Okay, so you're at the free network setups, and now you want to edit the one which you used. So I use the first one, so I click on it. And you want to go all the way down, and you will have three DNS settings here. So we are going to edit these, and for this one, we want to choose the option on the left, which will prevent the DNS address from being obtained automatically. So now, we just need to enter the DNS address into these two fields. And to do that, you can do that by clicking this option and entering this DNS address, which is 172104888237. Once that is done, you want to click the bottom right option here. To save it, press A, and you do the same for the other field. So now that we've set all that up, you can do a connection test, which we shall do right now, and you can do that by clicking the top right corner of the touchscreen. And the connection test should be successful. Yep, and now that the connection test was successful, you just want to save these settings, and you can do so by going down to the bottom right part of the touchscreen. And then you want to exit out to the previous network menu. And you are pretty much done for the most part, you don't have to do that setup every time, and that setup is only per console rather than per game. So once that's done, you just want to go to the top option here, you'll get some text, ignore it. Until you get to this part, choose the left option, choose it again, it will save your game, and then it will start connecting you to the out of WFC server. And there we go, we are successfully connected to the out of WFC server, it's a wave battle. So now what you want to do is you want to click this text box next to this question mark and basically this is where you're going to search for your opponent. Change your settings to these 
and you are pretty much ready to leave battle. And that's pretty much it for the tutorial. And uh, once you've done and got everything ready, then you can just press OK and it will start searching for someone. Obviously, I don't have anyone to play with me right now, but you should find the person you're looking for. Anyways, happy wave battling. Hello and welcome to the FAQ section of this video. Here I will address some of the common questions you may have about net playing Mega Man Star Wars 3. One of the main reasons as to why the Japanese version of the game is being played over the American version is mostly to do with the fact that the American version of the game simply is finicky and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You can also not use the search function if you have or use NKG, which is a very huge part of the game. But even if you don't use NKG, the search function will sometimes find someone and sometimes it won't find someone. It's very inconsistent. And the only other option when it comes to finding games is using friend codes. And friend codes are even more inconsistent with the American version of the game. So all in all, the JP version of the game is simply more stable and more easier to get set up. If someone knows how to English patch a game or knows where I can find a guide on how to patch a game to be English, please let me know. Melon DS is a relatively new emulator. It's about two years old now and it's being worked on by a single person. So, as it is now, optimization isn't quite there yet, but it is being worked on for sure. However, if you want your game to run at 60 frames per second online on Melon DS, you need a decent CPU. You need about an i5 second gen or an AMD FX 8350 or higher to get it to run at that speed. Yes, it is actually possible to crossplay with console and PC. It's pretty easy to set up as well. You simply both connect to the LWFC server, you go to Wave Battle, search for each other, and you should get a match. It's that easy. The server used for Netplay is called WFZY, and the DNS address for it is 172.104.88.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.